in the second service, I, I showed us that when you pray, you take steps. And you take steps in three directions. What's number one? We said you must be relationship conscious. Be conscious of relating. Don't, don't ignore people. Value relationship. I said number two, you must be a strategic planner. Uh, uh, fasting and prayer does not take the place of strategic planning. Then number three, I said when you make plans and you don't execute, you don't take steps towards bringing your plans to fulfillment, you are not different from the person that didn't have plan at all. So when you make plans, take steps towards those plans. Now, second Sunday, which was last Sunday, we, st we, we, st we saw where Moses fasted for 40 days to receive one thing. And by the time he came down, he was angry and broke it. That you must work on your character as a Christian. That your character can waste your prayer and fasting. Then in the second service, we talked about you being a lot. Uh, uh, when the day good will come, day good, goodness will not tell you, I'm coming here, you will need to be at a lot, you know, be sensitive. Now, in the aspect of relationship, okay, brother Amos is also online, you're welcome. In the aspect of relationship, please, take relationship serious. There's one of our members, I decided I won't pick their calls anymore. When there was need, she called, came down, I stepped in, brought, God used me to bring solution. There was no call back of thank you, sir. Ah, thank you for the way God used you. Now there's another need. I, I, I have not picked the call till today. See, learn to be understand relationship. I've always said it and I'll keep saying it. Stop the hijacking thing. Stop what? Hijacking thing. Uh, you, you just want somebody to do for you what you are not doing for them. It doesn't work continuously like that. Uh, during my birthday, I told, I told myself, I, I, I took time to read every comment. I took time to watch every Facebook post. Uh, and I made up my mind. I know those who love me. I know those who don't have time to say, ah, happy birthday, sir. And during their own too, I won't have time. I'll be so, yeah, yes, I must be using these things to teach you how the world is. There's nothing like hijacking. You can't just wake and expect a miracle to happen. Are you getting what I'm saying? You must understand that God governs the art by what? Principles. He governs the art by what? Principles. If you understand the principles, I'm telling you, you will flow free in life. Why is Nigeria uh, are like this? It's because we don't value our own people. But they value them abroad. So you see that when somebody leaves our country, goes somewhere else, they begin to end big. Most of the people that, are, 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 that we are going to consult medically outside, they were people raised in Nigeria here. But because we don't value them, governments will owe them salary, you know, uh, they will demand for leave bonus, it's not being paid, they will promise them. So once they have little green lights, they will just travel. But you can become the one person that the change that we are praying for will start with. I, am I communicating? You must learn how to relate well with people. Learn how to relate well. Value friendship. So today we are looking at another thing. We started in the first service from Second Chronicles chapter 20, 1 to 4. You know, 1 to 4, we saw how three nations gathered against Jehoshaphat. Now, he also fasted and prayed with the whole Israelites. And in verse 21 to 22, now, listen, in 1 to 4, God gave them a promise after they prayed. From verse 1 to verse 21 to 22, he decided to put up praise. Who decided? Jacob is in your Lord. And as he began to praise, God intervened. Now, and I started telling them that after you have prayed and fasted, one of the principles that will make your prayer and fasting to be effective is that you must cultivate the attitude of praise. More be one sharing in your Lord. Now, let me brief some of the things I said in the first service. In the first service, I made us to understand that praise is different from thanksgiving. You thank the Lord. You praise the Lord. What is thanksgiving? Thanksgiving is a show of appreciation. Praise is a show of understanding. Now, a thanksgiver has enjoyed something. A praiser has discovered something about God. It is not until God does anything for you before you praise him. That's why there are two different things. We, we spoke so much about it in the first service. 
Now, who is a praiser? To praise is to commend somebody for what you have discovered about that person. The, ah, like Baja, oh good, don't drive. Only my wiry. Maybe the things you have had. Are you getting what I'm saying? The things you have had. Now, they say, talk about the lion. They say, the lion is strong. The lion is big. Are you a lion? No. Now, when we talk about praise, it is you commending God for who you have discovered God is. That's what it means to praise. And I gave you an example of a song. For instance, look at praise song. How excellent is your name, oh God. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. What's Thanksgiving song? Thanksgiving song. You can say, okay, uh, 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 <laughs> praise the Lord. We use an example in the first service. Uh, you know, but a praiser does not need anything to praise God. A praiser only needs to understand who his God is. Now, and I said to them in the first service, see, every battle praise leads always end in victory. Every battle you, 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 you fight on the platform of praise will always result in victory. And listen, most children of God today, the devil is using several things to take praises of God away from our mouths. So in this service, I said so many things in the first service. I talked about the seven things that praise vessels enjoy. I want to buy more on I want to make it on bad on first service. I don't need to go back to it. What can you do to cultivate a praise habit? I said it. Decide to study the acts of God in his word. Study to discover how mighty he is and you find it easy to praise him. Are you getting what I'm saying? But when you are a praiser, okay, let me run through the seven things. When, I don't need to run. There's no time. When you are a praiser, go and listen to the message. You will enjoy God when you know how to praise him. And do you know that most of the songs people are singing today, they are not actually praise songs. You will discover this in our study, this second service. So in this second service, we are looking at strategy of the devil. Four strategies of the devil. Four strategies of the devil to kill your praise life. Four strategies of the devil to kill your praise life. Now, what did I call praise again? That a praiser is one who exalts God, who commends the Lord. Praise is commendation. Now, and I said, to be a praiser, you must have discovered who God is and what he has capacity to do. You have studied him to that point. Now, and I said again that thanksgivers are people who show uh, appreciation for what they have enjoyed. And I told them in the first service, a praiser is greater than a thanksgiver. Thanksgiver is the kindergarten level. Praises is the level of the university level. So you, they are not in the same category. Now, if you, want to love, if you want children to love you, what do you do? You buy sweets and biscuits. All of, all of a sudden, you see that they will begin to mention your name. But a praiser doesn't need any miracle. He has read some things about God. That's why, if you look at, uh, in those days, if you watch Yoruba movies now, in our, they tell us epic movies of those days, you see that warriors and kings always have criers. They may be calling him Sean Whoa, and begin to mention powerful things about him. And the, the man they are praising will just begin to ah, he will be moved. He may go inside. God loves it eh? when you praise him. When you, when you say sweet things that you have discovered about him. It makes God to do exploits. So let's see the four strategies of the devil to kill your praise life. Four strategies of the devil to kill your praise life. Number one, he uses the sounds of Pharaoh to cause panic. He uses the sound of terror to cause panic. Now, when I say the sound of terror, put 1 Peter 5, 8 on screen, 8 and 9 on screen. I'm talking about the devil may be magnifying the situations in front of you and making you to feel afraid. 
that ah, ba o ni mo shefe she, or don't know pari loi, ah, ah, toni pe son wo lemo, ba o ni mo shefe she, ah, o ma gaba yo, eh, o wuti mo banjo January, eh, o wa joti mo banjo January, o wo lapo ti mo banjo January, o wo cooperative ti mo banjo January, ah, o ma koshu meji December lo ma mbo yi, ah, mi de ti san dabo, ba o ni, now all these things are sounds of terror. Now look at the scriptures. The Bible says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about, like what? Like a roaring lion. But is he a lion? He's not a lion. He's not a lion, but the Bible says he walks about like a roaring, which means he's always walking about and making noise. Ooh. But he's not actually as big as the noise he's making. The Bible didn't say he walks about, he's a lion. The Bible says like a roaring lion. He's roaring. Now, and listen, every single time the devil shows you the sounds of terror, he wants to create fear in your heart. And he knows that when you are afraid, you know you can't praise God in fear. Now, people who are afraid, they sing songs of deliverance. That's your me. Oluwa dasi oro mi ah Oluwa December lo nbo yi dasi oro mi Olorun dasi oro mi o Mama dade mi nikan o ah baba Mama dade mi nikan o Mama dade mi nikan Oluwa dasi oro mi you know Now the reason why the devil will be creating this terror is that he knows that God does not dwell in battle songs what, where does God dwell? God dwells in praise. He dwells in praise. When we were looking at the points of the seven things you stand to enjoy when you are a praiser, is that God dwells in the atmosphere of praise. If you want to understand this more, go and read the book of Revelation. When we were talking, the Bible was showing us documentation of how God arranged his throne. The Bible says where God sits in heaven. It talks about 24 elders that that goes around this throne. He talks about creatures that goes around this throne. And the Bible says the creatures will bow down their heads, you know, sing worship to God. By the time they rise up, the 24 elders will bow their own heads, sing praises to God. By the time they finish, the creatures will bow. God's throne is continuous praise. So he dwells in that atmosphere. And the devil knows that if you want to live as a praiser, you will draw God into your situation. And you know, I said it in the first service. When God came into the situation of Paul and Silas, they were singing inside the prison. What happened? The prison doors got open. The chains in their hands got broken. When God comes into your situation, have you discovered that you don't, you don't solve debt problem, hear me, by borrowing more? Have you discovered that? You only extend the time. You don't solve debt problem even by working harder. You solve debt problem by prophecy. And what do you prophesy? Prophesy is praise. Let him come down with a miracle for you. The devil knows that once you are able to focus on praising him, your condition is in trouble. That's why he wants to blow the alarm. He wants to blow the horn. It may be where you are thinking of, okay, a reminder will come from your cooperative. A text message reminder. We said we should remind you that you have two more months to go to balance your loan. Say sound of terror. I didn't hear you. <laughs> but look at, I want to show you something. When God decided to move in the life of these kings, 2 Kings chapter 3, let's go there from verse 5. 2 Kings chapter 3 from verse 5. There was no sign that there would be a miracle. But God brought the miracle. 2 Kings chapter 3 from verse 5. We are taking it to verse 20. And it happened. When he had died, that the king of Moab rebelled against the king of Israel. You are going to be very fast. We have a lot of scripture to read today. So King Jehoram went out of Samaria at that time and mastered all, I mustard all Israel. He said, all oh, Israel. Then he went and sent to Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, saying, 
the king of Moab has rebelled against me. Will you go with me to fight against Moab? And he said, I will go with you. I am as you are. My people as your people. My horses as your horses. Yes, move on. We are very far. Then he said, which way shall we go up? And he answered, by the way of the wilderness of Edom. Okay, let's go. So the king of Israel went with the king of Judah and the king of Edom. And they marched on, on that roundabout route. Seven days they were marching. And there was no water for the army, nor for the animals that followed them. Ah, uh -uh, no water to drink. And the king of Israel said, Alas, for the Lord had called these three kings together to deliver them into the hand of Moab. Attiring for seven days, we didn't find any water to drink. Our men are tired. How can we fight when we, we are thirsty? And the king of Israel said, Alas, for the Lord had called these three kings. Okay, we have taken this, we have taken this. Show me verse 11. But Jehoshaphat said, Is there no prophet? We need water. You are talking of prophet. Is there no prophet of the Lord here that we may inquire of the Lord by him? So one of the servants of the king of Israel answered and said, Elisha, the son of Shaphat, he said, wait for me, wait for me. Look, leave this scripture here. Now let me tell you something. It's not part of my message, but the Lord just brought it now. Do you know that one of the virtues you need eh, to consistently prosper in your life is for you to have your own pastor? Yesterday I was with my mentor. They were celebrating 33 years uh, 33 years of being in ministry. And it was Tosimbi that was invited. Now, B Bishop, when he was talking about Tosimbi, he said, you are welcome. He said, Pastor Adipoye told me that I must never invite to sing in our church any musician that does not have a pastor. Anybody that sing, that, no matter the talent, to any pastor, I took that word. He said, Tosimbi, you sang properly. I will go back to Baba and tell him that you did well. These are all members in the choir in Redeem. Tosimbi is a member there. Big Bolaji is a member in the, in the choir in Redeem. Uh, what's the name of the other one that we are thinking of inviting? Uh, all of them are there. So, Jehoshaphat is now saying, wait, wait, wait. The condition that we are now, let's consult a pastor. Can I tell you something briefly? Don't ever get to a point in your life, no matter how blessed you are, that you don't recognize your pastor. Don't ever get to that point in your life, no matter how. Because there used to be a season that you need divine help. There is always a season there will be need for divine help. No matter how blessed you are, did you get that message? Now go back to what? It was not part of the message. Now let's go back. Is there no prophet here? Is there no prophet here? Let's go back very, very fast. I told you don't remove it. Hallelujah. Now after he had said that, Israel answered and said, Elisha, the son of Shaphat is here. Who pours water out of the hand of Elijah? He also served under Elijah. See, can I also tell you here, it is also risky to have a pastor that does not have a pastor. Don't put your head under a pastor that doesn't have a mentor. Look at how they introduce him. Elisha, the son of Shaphat, who used to pour water on the hand of Elijah, which means he himself was an apprentice before. And Jehoshaphat said, The word of the Lord is with him. So the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat and the king of Edom went down to him. Now listen, when they got there, then Elisha said to the king of Israel, What have I to do with you? Go to the prophets of your fathers and the prophets of your mother. But the king of Israel said to him, No, for the Lord has called these three kings together to deliver them into the hand of Moab. Don't, don't, don't have a pastor that, does, that, that, that cannot rebuke you. Are you hearing me? Any pastor, a pastor that is afraid of you cannot be your pastor. Hallelujah. So, Elisha, they now go to Elisha, go, 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 go away. Now, after some time, I'll, let me continue. Elisha now prophesied. He said, do you know what? You may not see the wind. You may not see the rain. 
Which means there may not be any sign. Let's go on. And Elisha said, And the Lord of hosts lives. Before I stand, surely was it not that I regard the presence of Joseph, our king of Judah? I will not look at you, nor see you. Move on, move on, move on. He's not looking at his wealth. But now, bring me a musician. Can you see praise? This, then it happened. When the musician played, can you see praise? When you praise God, his word will show forth. As he was playing, the hand of the Lord came upon him. And the word of prophecy came. And he said, Thus said the Lord, make this valley full of ditches. For thus says the Lord, you shall not see wind, nor shall you see rain. Yet the valley shall be filled. I want to pray for somebody. No matter what your situation is, even if there is no physical sign of deliverance, between now and the end of this month, God will show up for you. I say God will show up for you. No matter what that condition is, I say God will show up for you in the name of Jesus. You will not experience shame. Say after me by the word of the Lord. I will not experience shame. According to the word of God. In Jesus' name. Now look up. So, one of the reasons the devil brings sounds of terror to cause panic. The devil can show you several awful pictures. Like when three nations gathered against Judah. When Jezebel sent messengers to threaten Elijah. Elijah, sorry. When Israel was facing the Red Sea. These are conditions. When the Egyptians army were charging behind them. The devil uses the sound of terror. Listen, the devil uses the sound of terror method to cause fear so that you won't nurse praiseful thought. Can you see his target? He uses the sound of terror to cause fear. Ha, 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 is it possible for all these things to happen? But I've just shown you one. If you read through, there is no time. There was no rain, no. There was no wind. You know what God did? God went to bring, God called water, and water was coming from another country, Edom. And it was flowing to that place. And the Bible says the whole ditches were filled with water. If you follow sounds, you will doubt God. If you wait for signs, you will not believe that God is working. When Israel was marching around the city of Jericho, if I was part of them, I would be asking, I would be asking, punishment but they, they, they were just shouting. And the seventh day, as they did the seventh time, they thought angels would come. Oh, Look at as they made the seventh shout, the last one. Ah! They just look. Jericho just sank. Eh? I know that day people will be shouting different. God, you are too much. Ah, may God perform in your life the miracle that will make you respect Him the more. So don't allow the devil to use the, the voice of terror to make you panic to the point that you stop praising him. I wrote here, if you don't want to lose your praise life, don't allow the voice of terror and the pictures of terror take praise from your heart and mouth. Do like Paul and, and Barnabas in Acts of Apostles 16. 23 to 26, show us, Acts 16, 
23 to 26, they were inside this, a situation. They were inside prison. Acts chapter, chapter 16, from verse 23 to 26. They were inside prison. And when they had laid up stri many stripes on them, one no more, one fear me to pass in one lara, they threw them into prison, commanding the jailer to keep them securely. Verse 24. After they beat them, having received such a charge, he put them into the inner prison and fastened their feet in stocks. But at midnight, Paul and Silas did what? Were praying and singing hymns to God. They were praying and singing. Are they supposed to sing and pray? Somebody who were beaten, who they were beaten severely. The Bible said they put marks on them. No sign. Kusami, be alone, Romani. But what did they? Don't let the signs and sounds of terror take praises from you. Praise is the only reason why God will stay around your life. And when God stays around your life, sir, ah, uh, look at what will happen. Suddenly, because God came out, came down, there was great earthquake. So that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately, all the doors were opened. And everyone's chain was well loose. Everyone. Not even one person. Because God came down. What brings God down is praise. And what is praise? Commendation. It is different from thanksgiving. Did you get number one? Can I move on? So I wrote here, under number one, to summarize, stop listening to or looking at negative signs. The sound of terror to you is anything that is out to discourage you from praising God. Don't give attention to them. Don't give attention to them. Don't give attention to them. Let's take number two. Number two, second strategy of the devil to kill your praise life. Number two, he, he sends signals that will make you feel so busy to the point of creating time to praise God. Signals that will make you feel too busy to have time to praise. You know, this signal just crosses your heart. It I come across Oraye, OBC, OBC, Alo BC. Kusaye say, Ayo, I I yo, Kusaye, che what to ya pe to batilo lataro, ko to de la lati re to bad de go suni. God will not stay in a place where he is not praised. Nightly, he can't stay. That's why when Jehoshaphat and those people began to sing, as they were singing, the Bible said, God laid ambush. Don't let the devil create that impression in you that you are busy. I wrote here, hallelujah. Talk to me, hallelujah. Listen, this signal makes you see 24 hours as too small. You feel 24 hours is too small for you. Time of praise should be deliberate. Create time for it. When King Nebuchadnezzar was feeling too big, God showed him <laughs> he was just too small. Daniel chapter 4, 30 to 37. You know, Nebuchadnezzar too got to a point in his life he was feeling so big. Show me Daniel chapter 4 from verse 30. The Bible says he went to the roof of his palace and he was saying, can you see all the things that has been done for my majesty? Look at it. Then king, the king spoke saying, is not this great Babylon that I have built for a royal dwelling by my mighty power and for the honor of my majesty. Can you see this great Babylon? Wait, wait, come back. This great Babylon. Babylon will lie. Where are you now? That I, is this not great Babylon? That I have built. He said, I have built for a royal dwelling for my might and power, by my might and power, Nipagbara, me, and for my honor, for me. Ah, look at the next verse, verse 31. 
while the word was still in, his, in the king's mouth, a voice fell from heaven. King Nebuchadnezzar, to you it is spoken. The kingdom has departed from you because you have lost this kind of thought. Ah, don't be saying you are too busy. Oh. Don't say you are too busy. Oh. And they shall drive you from men. And your dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field. They shall make you eat grass like oxen. Seven times shall pass over you until God said, until one reason, the only thing, reason why you'll be restored, until you know that the Most High rules in the kingdom of men and gives it to whoever he chooses. Now, move on. That very hour, the word was fulfilled concerning Nebuchadnezzar. He was driven from men and ate grass like oxen. His body was wet with the dew of heaven till his hair had grown like eagles, feather, eagles' feathers, and his nails like birds', birds claws. Move on. 30, 35. 35. We have two more verses to go. At the end of that time, I, Nebuchadnezzar, can you see? If I told you, 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 can you see? Mama lo bisi o. Sheri a koko yin. Ama yin ya soto ni. Bo she lo bisi o bisi bisi. Oma raye lo toilet. To ba tik bwen bai. Wa kriti time. Now show me a man that he said, I'm so busy I can't go to the toilet. Poo poo, you have to wait for another time. Not now. Then you, you will stop whatever you are doing. Even if you are in front of the governor. And the thing holds you. It's not that he's playing with you and the thing really holds you. Sir, I seek your indulgence, sir. To use the... <laughs> ah. Even if it is the government that the governor that is giving speech, you just see... You don't know that times when you just see that they are giving speech and the television just go blank. <laughs> I can't go blank. and technical uh, error. The man went to ease himself. Say, I might be no, she have be technical. I bring come see you come came in. You have time for that. You must create time for praise. Ma finish it. Don't be so busy to the point that you won't praise the hand that is lifting you. If you want to know that there's a hand, the first day I saw somebody die, I didn't know the person. I was moving towards okay. Those days of carnation or speed too. They rushed one man. One mechanic, me. He fainted. They were now bringing him to the hospital. So I stopped. I wanted to see what happened. Sir, as they brought him down, he was, he was walking. He just went down again. His hand didn't work again. His leg didn't work again. Everything they tried to, as they carried him into the, into the hospital, the doctor looked at him and said, brought him dead. That's B.I.D. Straight back to the car. You know, he was gone. I was telling one of our people on Friday, they came to see me. And I said, see, I have discovered in this life that everything we own is not ours except the food we eat. Do you understand what I just said? Your car, nobody you get. Even your picking, nobody you get. Your husband, no be your own. You just use them by now. That my wife, my wife, my wife. No be you get. The only thing will be your own. Now the food will eat up. Every other thing. If you end today, I'm telling you the fact. You won't know what is going on tomorrow. So kiwa ni gari gari. I discovered that in life. And when I discovered that, I'm telling you, I calm down. Muti calm down. So to be to be back on imagine koto umi to bara imuni o. Jento well. Ah. Muti shawari tolu eba kunsi. After a few years, e ino le mama mama 
lo ma te ja eh orun orun ti ma papa wa on ba jisu je on ni mama emi olorun tin ba mi soro ti pe peyin ni yawo mi eh oh yeah back to our message back to our message back to our message Is it not true? <laughs> Sir? <laughs> Pastor, come came to your mind. Yes, ah, the wife is gone. Is he not, has he not married? Yes. Baba, uh -huh. Everything you think, those things you are fighting over. Yes. Hmm. You know where I discovered this? Can I tell you quickly because of time? During the burial of Queen Elizabeth, as they took her to church, all the symbol of power and honor was put upon her coffin. Then when the reverend wanted to bury, he said, please now, can we remove all the symbol of honor and power as we bury our sister? She was not buried as Queen Elizabeth. As we bury our sister. So they removed all the symbol of power. In case you don't know, I did a little research on the Queen of England. When she was alive, she had everything in life. She w when she wants to travel, special, her blood, eh? her blood, blood sample, her blood, uh, uh, what do you call, pints of blood, must always be in the bag, in a bag. In case of any emergency, blood to malu, one bag. Everything she eats or drinks, the world, England, is paying for it. She does not pay for anything. And she's the longest reigning queen. She had never paid for anything from the day she became queen. Everything that is in England belongs to her. The queen owns everything. But she died. Why will you now say you won't create time? You are so busy. Big ball on she oh busy to learn me. But when oh far you let that it bought here, that it down what do I? Yet to praise God, sir, so you don't understand. Sir, so you don't understand. He used to tell us when we were small. My father's family when they come to visit. Hallelujah. After he returned from eating grass, what did he do? Don't wait to go to that holiday that Daniel went to, uh, that Nebuchadnezzar went to, before you realize that you need to create time. Hello, me, no prison yard. Look, you realize, ah, alone, oh my king. Hello, me, we speak to bed. But my you didn't live with you. here. Can we go to number three? Third strategy of the devil to kill your praise life. I love this one very well. The devil at times subtly replaced the song of praise with a song of warfare, the song of positive confession, and the song of thanksgiving. <laughs> Minister Bega, you are also welcome online. God bless you. The devil at times subtly replaced the song of praise with a song of warfare and positive confession. A uh, positive confession and thanks. Now look up. Listen to these songs. I want to show you something. You wake up in the morning. This is a song of praise. So, you alone at war, the Lord. To be praised and adored. That means you alone at war, the You alone at war, the Lord. To be praised and adored. You've been faithful, God. 
You've been faithful, God. From the ages past. That is why your name, Olorukonla, is forevermore. That is why your name, Olorukonla, is forevermore. Now, this is praise. Look at how the devil is really, uh, replacing it. You wake up in the morning, and the first thing that comes to your mind, my God, carry me they go. I say anywhere better day, carry me they go. Anywhere better day, carry me they go. Anywhere money day, carry me they go. Anywhere better day, carry me they go. Hey, let us pray. We have just praised God. You didn't praise God. That's another prayer point. You sang a prayer point. Did you get what I'm saying now? Now, that's a song in prayer. You didn't praise God. The devil has brought plenty. Cameraman, you are not looking at me. Has brought plenty eh, into the Pentecostal church. They are so melodious. And the devil is gradually using it to, to take away praises from the church. Hello? In those days, you hear, eh, 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 baba, eh, 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 Ah, oh, mon, oh, eh, so, kale, wa, eh, wa, ba, wa, be, oh, mon, ye, mi, oh, ti, be, se, le, oh, ah, oh, ma, kala, oh, ti, be, ah, oh, ah, fu, mi, lo, ro, so, wa, ah, fu, mi, lo, ro, so, ba, ba, oh, ma, je, koro, oh, mon, ye, be, mi, lo, oh, ah, what is that? Warfare song. It's not praise. I want to let you know. Some of you wake up in the morning. Who drew Marty Ma? Hello, Rumi, Muminja de La. My gen, she shall only share. My gen, Tara, Kakin to Jem. Jackin, Bo de Paddy. I gem up a cova, Jemmy, oh. He shall get carried away in any cook. Oh, you're alone. Kitsuni, you know. Prayer point. You're welcome, ma. <laughs> it's true. Prayer points me. Chawarike in you want to reduce. Tabani, okay, I want to praise worship. See you, Bati Kokwe. It's a letty, it's me. Gang, 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 gang. Ah, yeah, da, 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 da. Oh, no, ba. Give me my love, see. I'm a malagu. He be giga, oh. He be so gag, you like, yeah. Oh, no, ba, jo. Keep tuning, yeah. Prayer, no, ni. Iba to ba wa gba lejo to wa je ko nje ti e gan la lejo wa nbu igba lo ni le lo igba to lo da tun bi ti Jesu gba e to sha ngba o sha ngba ko si gba ti o ni fe le e pada so do isu is it truth the devil has see can i tell you the truth the devil has raised a lot of singers and put them in church In Kai Fele sang a good song. Some sweet uh, demonic agents have changed it. Why would it take you to me? I want you. Aha, yeah. Shall you one more? Only Bukola, she lost all the internet. He was listening in the church. He looked day. Shall I want you to our singers, you must begin to understand. There are songs that you sing in parties. There are songs you sing, sing in event, sent, event places. But when it comes to church, let's understand what we mean by songs of praise. It's songs of commendation. That's what we had when we gave our life to Christ in the 90s. That the church of today don't have.
Now, today you want to approve, you know, you want to give, you want to, these people are not dancing, they are not showing. So what do we do, what do we do, what do we do? Now, look at your neighbor, say your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. And you know when you have neighbor, 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 say after me, neighbor, neighbor, hey, me, me, ma, go, go, lose America, go to, you know, praise. I call it where everywhere must scatter. These are strategies of the devil. The devil knows what God can do when he's truly praised. He wants to do everything possible to try to change it. So the devil has sent several demonic singers and instrumentalists into the church today. And they are gradually killing praise. Listen. Praise is exaltation to the Lord. There's no time I will have read this story. First Kings chapter 13, 1 to 26. Just write it, don't read it. One prophet, God sent him a message. Go and tell, um, is it Rehoboam or Jeroboam? The one that is not the son of, uh, uh, of is it Reh or J? First Kings 26, uh, First Kings chapter 13. Show me verse 1. God, this prophet got to that land and said, to that king. Woe unto you for creating an altar and stopping the people from going to Jerusalem. The king said, arrest him. As he stretched forth his hand, the hand Steve. Everybody was shocked. Eh? Everybody was shocked. They started begging the young prophet. And the prophet said, May your hand come down. He came down. Okay, prophet, I want to give you something. Prophet, you know what? Don't sit on my table. Uluwa, so for me, pay. Me, you go to jet. Came out, mu. He beat him back there, bawa. Call the king back, pada. Now, Emma, I'm going to ask you to do two, two, actually, or go and share, and share. On the two, six, banga. On the middle, you will win. He beat you, bawa, one more. He beat you, I took balance, one, or two, dear. Uluwa, see, you come out, you come so, what the one new what to sponsor internet shows. That's why I had to stop Brother Gabriel's praise one time. Where's Brother Gabriel? That I said lead praise. And he, he was singing and he brought one individual song and was, uh, uh, I want to try to remember. Ah, I said he knew God's power. So, he went back with the prophet. As he was eating in the prophet's out, He's calling, jump on the prophet. He, the prophet used him to recharge his own calling. And he started from the Lord. I told you not to come back, you came back. I told you not to eat, you eat. A lion will devour you. Yeah. Do you know that he stood up, he was going, a lion killed him. That old prophet now came to carry him and bury him. Let's be careful of the songs eh, we allow in church. That's why those of you that are praise leaders, you are the ones leading us. Once you, you are giving, uh, they have given you a roster of when you will lead praise. Please, the way I prepare to preach. Or do I used to come here to speak nonsense? No, I take time to prepare. The way I prepare to preach, that's how you should pray and prepare for praise. 
That's why if they give you praise worship, eh, one minute to service, tell your leader to lead it by herself. Imagine the man called Waris. Hello, call him. I mean, along with you, by any sort of careful me, like to be out on the latch of your geometer. I want to show you, hey, why? I never leave the place. Ah, eh, call for you. Are you here? So, most of the songs, most of the songs, the devil is using his agents to produce, hear me, are very melodious, but does not attract divine presence. 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 Look at when that pastor came during the praise day. Pastor Odogunya, yes. As he stepped on the keyboard, what did you see? The atmosphere changed. One of us said she saw an angel came down. That's how praise sessions are supposed to be. Even at home and in church. So here, let's take the last one. Number four. What are we looking at? Strategy of the devil to kill your praise life. Number four. Where your taste eh, is higher than your level. No matter how well God is good to you, you will still feel he hasn't done anything for you. So your priest life will be affected. Do I come again? When your taste is higher than your level, no matter how well God is good to you, you will still feel he hasn't done anything for you. You know why some people are not happy? Eh? It's not that God is not good, though, but their taste is too high. So the little thing God is doing for them, they don't see it as God has done anything. So it makes them sad that they don't want to praise God. No matter how high your taste is, know what should be your level per time. Me, your pastor, I used to tell you, if anybody comes now and says, Pastor, is giving me a gift and he gives me homage. I will seek for his permission to sell it. Do you know why? My mentor uses Omar and the oil that he used for the servicing of the homage is two gallons. One gallon is 60,000. Two gallons, 120. I was in my mentor's house on uh, Wednesday. He said I should come see him. So I was in his house at the city of faith. So while we we're talking, a car came in. It's mechanic. He said, when car is developing faults like this, Pastor, it's better we get another one. Ah, in my heart, I said, get another one. I became Takuti mechanic. But that is his own level. Look up. He now said, the car that he's riding does not have shock absorber. It's, I am hearing for the first time that he uses balloon. He said, so they notice that when they are driving, and they enter the gallop, the thing will throw them up. He said, so the balloon, the two, to change it is 700,000. Sir, ma? Seven hundred thousand. First, first jeep with me, 500,000 more. <laughs> balloon, balloon, tire, 700. Sir? I want to believe I have the one converted. Now, imagine now me de designing that kind of car. If I desire that kind of car and God give me something less, will I see God as good? No. Some of you, your taste is too high. God is good to you. But because what you are looking at eh, will not allow you to see his goodness as good at all. So, instead of you to praise God, you should know what you cannot afford part time. It's not, it's not that you don't have faith. You should go on the back door. There are some things, there are some gifts. If you give me, I will give my mentor. 
Can you imagine now? Uh, you say, uh, my pastor is celebrating birthday, and you go and buy a gold wristwatch of 5,000 pounds. I will sell it and put the money in God's house project. Because 5,000 pounds convert to Naira. How much is that? Work it for me. Brother Desan, 5,000 pounds in Naira. You should know you are an accountant now. <laughs> Sir? 6.4 million. Wow. Church and work, Kenny. 3.7. So 3,750,000. Imagine. There is a house they want to sell at Okebola for 3 million. They want her. I do put in your phone while I Ah, okay, look at uh, and trust along for property in B. If we are Reverend Down sees, they bought a plan land for four million. One fee, oh, she million, one fee down four million, oh, she come. If we see land of four million naira today, we'll buy it tomorrow morning. But could still ill four million liberty. Tabari le four million sing. Tonya, Pastor, il four million. Actually, come about. I'm a Sawula Rola. Look up. Let's concentrate. The children are coming in. We are closing now. Now, let me show you what happens when your taste is too high. Quickly go to the Bible. 1 Kings 22, 29 to 35. We are children. Take your seat. Take your seat. We are closing now. 1 Kings. 22, 29 to 35. So the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, went up to Ramoth Gilead. Uh -huh. 30. Move fast. And the king of Israel said to Jehoshaphat, I will disguise myself and go into the battle. But you put on your robe. So the king of Israel disguised himself and went into battle. And said, you, do as he, dress as the king. Eh? Dress like Ahab. Don't dress like Ahab. You are not Ahab. Now, the king of Syria had commanded the 32 captains of his chariot, saying, Fight with no one, small or great, but only with the king of Israel. That anyone that dresses as king is the one you should fight. And what? What Let's see. So it was when the captain of the chariot saw Jehoshaphat that they said, Surely it is the king of Israel. Therefore, they turned aside to fight against him. And Jehoshaphat, he, was, he cried out, 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 And it happened when the captains of the chariots saw that it was not the king of Israel that they turned back from pursuing him. Thank God that he made the noise. Have you picked something? Know your level. Don't deceive yourself. Understand that in this life, you are not in this life to impress anybody. So now, will you praise God? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Praise Him. Always be willing. Please, my brother, come and take this. Be happy to praise Him. Let your mind always be free to tell Him thank you. And don't forget, praises is different from thanksgiving. In praises, you don't, you don't say, eh, eh, Lord, thank you because you gave me... In praises, ah, Lord, you are too much. I studied the Bible. I saw how you divided the Red Sea. Ah, Baba, I fear you. How do you develop praise life? Study God. 
God has done some things in my life, eh? And in the life of some of our people, that has made me afraid. I study him. I say, God, ah, I fear you. You are a master planner. Let's be on our feet. Eja Loli. Dear not to Nunko Ninko. Ryan Shugun is also online. He said, True talk, sir. God bless you. Oh, yeah, everybody, on your feet, on your feet, on your feet. Don't be drum, don't play any instrument. I want to hear your voice. Ijila o ijila nino ijila Eshe o ijila nino ijila Eshe o ano ano mi soro Eshe o o ni mi soro Oh, that you all are me a sorrow. As you, oh, he jilla, nino, he jilla. As you, he jilla, oh, he jilla, nino, he jilla. Mama, oh, as you, oh. Ijila nino ijila I pray that you will be baptized this afternoon with the spirit of praise. Amen. Praise unto our God in the name of Jesus. Open your eyes. Do we have anybody coming for the first time before I bless you for the week? Any first time in the house?